What's up everybody, this is Martin and today I'm going to show you guys how to recover your corrupt Photoshop document. Have you ever been working for like 3 hours, 2 hours and so on and your Photoshop just crash or you have a power failure or something just happened to your system and it turned off and when you turn it on or when you open up Photoshop back and you couldn't just open your Photoshop document you're getting some kind of crazy errors which you don't know what to do about and you've checked everywhere and it's not really working how does that really feel it's so much frustrating and i just go through that not too long ago and i tried everything which really didn't work but finally find one that work so first of all i'm going to go through every process which i have tried and the last one that works so let's really see what's going on right here so i'm going to grab the document and go over to photoshop and i'm going to drop it so this is what i get after my photoshop crash file contains blah, blah blah and so on i'm just going to hit on ok now could not open blah 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 i'm just going to hit on ok so now let's try to flatten some say the flatten can't fix that and actually and i think the flatten can really fix that because this might have worked for me about some time a go so let's try to flatten and we still get the same error so let's click on that click on ok so the first fix i got was from adobe forum probably suggested by the creative cloud members or if photoshop themselves or adobe themselves so go over to they said go over to edit preferences and over to file handling and you go over to file handling this part that says maximize PSD and PSB file compatibility set to what always because it's always an ask so set to always and hit on OK and you open up the file and that should fix it as you can see it, it's already on always and the file couldn't open right so the next thing to do they said you should go over to user app data and so on and you're going to find the file there so what i'm going to do i'm going to hit on ctrl r on my keyboard just to run that and i'm going to type um percentage app data and then percentage i'm going to hit on enter and that is going to open up your app data your user the app data and the roaming now here in the roaming some cities should go over to adobe and the version of adobe photoshop you are using mine is 2020 and hit on auto recover and you should get um the file right here and it's not here so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back and write some say you should go over to roaming so i'll go back into the app data and i will go into go into local and then tempt some say you should scroll around this temp and you might be able to get a little bit of file around that really match the exact file you lost and so on and i tried all these i couldn't get any which is really really making no sense for me and at the time i got a particular file that matched the date and the time of what i've been working on so i tried to copy that from here and i renamed it to phd and it couldn't really work so all these steps i just gave you are what i've tried so far that couldn't really really work so i got a software which is the La phoenix phd repair i've got a software for so long almost a year or a couple of six months back and i've not been able to make use of this software at all because i really feel like it's not working because i've got some other psd repair files or software that say they can repair your document and i've tried them it's not working so i just download this and keep it so when this happened and i've tried everything which i'm supposed to do they are not really really working then i have to fall back to the software to just try if this can save me some time so this is the document we are going to be recovering and this is the software we are really going to be using in order to keep the desktop clean and not to keep things messy or to keep things organized i'm going to create a new folder on the desktop i'm going to drop it there and i'm going to name that PSD repair and I'm gonna hit on enter and 
I will drag this and drop it inside the folder and I'm just going to shift this there. So now double click on the software. If you have installed it, you can check the link in the description so that you can download it. And for now, I'm not going to using the spotlight because with the software, I can't make use of the spotlight. When I select the software, see this is where you get. So I'm not going to make use of the spotlight. So first, what you're going to do, make sure that this is unchecked okay so i'm going to uncheck that search and subfolder and i'll go to select file this pc desktop psd repair double click on that and i'm just going to hit on scan now it's going to scan the document this is what you're going to get so what i'm going to do i'm going to hit you're going to hit on save now you can create a new folder but i'm still going to put it inside of that psd repair click on ok and give the software some time to do its thing at this process it's going through reading the document you just saved and trying to help you recover the document so just give it some time to work so now that it's done first save successfully click on ok let's put this aside for now let's go back let's go back into the psd repair folder which we just created now we have it here wiki.psd recovered blah 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 and so on so now double click on that folder to open so we have three folders in here bmp5 completed PSD, complete psd and layers first i will just advise you not to bother about this this is crazy really really nasty but you can take out your time to check that so open up the complete psd and let's further for check something so let's see the size of this we are having about 204 mb as what we got there so let's check this so we're having 3.2 mb so let's go back into that folder complete prz and now since it is done recovering let's drag this into photoshop and see if we can access the document so let's click on ok so this is what we have could not open wiki.prz right if you can remember when we try to open up the other document we have two errors let me quickly show you that I'm going to minimize so let me go back into PSD. So, this is the document we first of all recover. So, let's drag that into Photoshop. And this is where we first forget the file contains one or more layers which appear to be corrupt. We'll click on OK, then we're going to get the second error which we are having now, which simply means that the software has just fixed the first error for us, right? Then, which simply means that we have to go back and fix this PSD with the software again so what i'm going to do i'm still going to create a new folder on the desktop and i'm going to rename i'm just going to name that final phd doesn't really matter final pass very bad phd and i'm going to hit on enter so we have the software there uh, what i'm going to do now i'm just going to right click and copy just for backup and hit on paste yeah so i can close this folder now because we are done with the psd repair now we are working with the final psd so i'm just going to drag this to this part so now go back to the software and hit on home search file and then go back to desktop final psd wiki.psd and i hit on scan and allow it to do it works it's already scanned doesn't really matter then hit on word save again now inside the final PSD, select that, click OK and give it some time. Now this process might take longer, it might take slower. So let's just sit and wait while it's complete. <coughs> OK, so now it's done. Let's click on OK and let's put the software aside. Let's go back into the final PSD, <coughs> complete PSD. Click on OK and let's see this time around. So what we have is 229. So we first of all have 53, 229, 253, 204, and 229. <clears throat> so let's drag this into Photoshop and see what happens. Click, drag, and drop, and boom. Photoshop just opened the software, opened the document. So now we have recovered the document, but not everything I have here right so you really don't expect it to be perfect but at least it really really did something for you like the line work it's no more here the eyeglass which i was painting before i lost the eyeglass because i was painting the eyeglass before that i have that issues or before my photoshop crashes and the eye is not really making any sense so you can just go back and fix everything or the layers that 
are present which you really really need then you can keep those ones and erase the layers which are not available because if we go across the layer part let me just put that to cover up this so i have um, um, <coughs> 50 percent complete drawing right now so when you check you can see that there are some empty layers which are not really making any sense so you can just go back and delete those layers which are not needed then you rearrange your work the way you are supposed to arrange them so first how you can fix this issue prevent this issue from happening so what i'm going to suggest or what i'm going to advise to you guys like after this happened to me and i was set, i was able to successfully recover the document what i did was that i created a backup of the document which is <coughs> This. so when i'm working i save to the backup and i save to the current document i'm working on so that's just the quick way you can fix all this stuff so if one document corrupts you can go back to the previous don't always put hopes on software like the recovery software and so because most times the mess up you can be lucky and you can't be lucky sometimes so i hope this video really helped you guys and you guys should know that i shouldn't be uploading this video in my channel because it's not really about tech and so on but since it's all about photoshop and so i just have to show you guys because i do photoshop tutorials too so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe to my channel for photoshop tutorials so see you guys and have a nice day